Hi guys, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Saturday, July 13, 2024. Those of you that are going to Yellowstone National Park, yeah, you got to watch out for bears and, you know, the grizzlies and wolves and elk and all that other stuff. But you also got to watch where you're driving. Maybe someone was distracted when they ran off the road into a thermal geyser there at Yellowstone National Park. Five people are safe. They were taken to the hospital after their sports utility vehicle they were riding in went off the road and into a inactive hot acid geyser at Yellowstone National Park. Officials said Friday. This evidently happened yes on um, Thursday. Hi everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. The passengers whose names were not released by officials were driving Thursday morning near a semi-centennial geyser thermal pole when it went off the road. Yeah, their vehicle was completely submerged. They are lucky they survived. The water in the pole was at least 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 41 degrees Celsius. It's an acid water. Yeah, I'm sure it did burn their skin, um, but they got out of the vehicle on their own. All five passengers were taken to the local hospital for treatment of non-life-threatening injuries. The closed road was closed for about two hours on Friday, while the SUV was extracted from about nine feet of water. So going to Google Earth, here's the location of the semi-centennial geyser or hot pool. There is a pull-off over here down a little bit farther down the road. I don't know if they were distracted or saw some, you know, elk maybe or wolves. And yeah, there's the tree that's in the photo. So this one um, is from Google from 2011. The semi-centennial geyser has been inactive since a major eruption in 1922. It is located near Roaring Mountain between Mammoth Hot Springs and Norris Junction. Park officials said that the incident is still being investigated. So going back to Google Earth, we'll exit the street view. Okay, and this is near uh, Norris Geyser Basin. Let me bring it out. Um, yeah, see this is an area too that I've talked a lot about. Um, here we have Steamboat Geyser off to the... Uh, West um, Grizzly Lake. They've been. They've had a lot of earthquakes in that location in the in the past. Yeah, it's in the northern section of Yellowstone over here. Let me bring this out a little bit farther. Yeah, here we got Yellowstone Lake. So this would be in the northeastern section of the park. Let me go back over here as it zooms around right there. And there's the road. Uh, looking at it from the street view, yeah, I would think somehow they were distracted or something. I don't know. Um, the one wheel is missing, so maybe um, the tire came off. It could have been anything, but they're not saying. Here's a little more history about Semi-Centennial Geyser. It's located just north of Roaring Mountain in the Yellowstone National Park in the United States. Um, the state of, of Wyoming situated next to the Grand Loop Road the geyser was first noticed when it had a few small eruptions in 1919 a few le years later on August 14 1922 the geyser erupted in the first of a series of increasingly violent eruptions it started erupting at 6:40 a.m. by the afternoon on the same day reports stated that the ejected water was exceeding 300 feet high. And by the evening of the 14th, the geyser had scattered debris and rocks of a distance of 450 feet or 140 meters. That's a greater distance than a football field. Uh, the eruption was short-lived. Semi-centennial eruption has been quiet since. And a small pool of water now exists where the geyser erupted. As the geyser showed its big, biggest activity in 1922, on the 50th anniversary of the establishment of Yellowstone National Park, 
1872, it was accorded the name of Semi-Centennial. The roads along that stretch have no bar barriers, and they're lucky it wasn't one of the boiling springs. The speed limit through all of the roads there at Yellowstone National Park is 45 or lower. And maybe speed was con a contributor to the accident. Some of the uh, thermal poles there at Yellowstone are so hot, so acidy, they actually dissolve the bones of people, which has happened in the past. They are so blessed to be alive. Yeah, God had his angels looking over them. Nate Eden had a post on Facebook which also included uh, pictures. I want to give a shout out to him. Thank you very much. The accident evidently happened at 1040 a.m. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please be safe this weekend. Yeah, um, we want everyone to be blessed and have a, an enjoyable weekend. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.